Hello and welcome to your virtual graduation ceremony. This is a very special day for you, marking the end of your degree programmes. Your own achievements notwithstanding, it is also a special day for me, as it marks the end of my first year as the DE for Theology and Director of the Institute of Theology. And what a year it's been. I do wish that we could have marked your achievements by the usual in-person graduation, but the pandemic has put an end to that for now. Although we cannot see each other in person, this day is no less momentous or significant for you, your families and your friends. And so, on behalf of all of the staff who work at Union Theological College and Queen's University Belfast Institute of Theology, I offer you our warmest congratulations. Your graduation day is a time for both reflecting backwards on your journey through your programme and a day for looking forwards to the next chapter in your lives. In reflecting back, you have been an incredibly hard-working, collegial, caring and generous group of students. It is true to say that hard work has paid off. We think particularly of Aaron Burnett, whose work was highly commended in the Global Undergraduate Awards in 2019. Aaron's work, along with 12 other students from Northern Ireland, was selected as the best from a pool of over 3,400 submissions from 338 institutions in 50 countries. The award ceremony was held in Dublin and luckily for Erin, it took place in the pre-pandemic days, so she got to travel and stay in Dublin. Lucky you, Erin. We also think of our prize winners, John McCracken, David Reed. Philip Boyd and Erin Burnett again, each of whom has produced consistently outstanding work throughout their degree programmes and whose achievements were recognised and rewarded at the Board of Examiners. Very well done to each of you. Your prizes are thoroughly well deserved. Hard work has also been noted in other ways. I would like in particular to note the work of your student reps, Paddy Smith, Nathan Hull, Stephen Maguire, Victoria Dobbin, Neville Cobb and Karen Henderson, all who have worked tirelessly to ensure that theology student voices have been heard in decision-making where possible. Thank you to all of you for your very positive contributions. The collegial, caring and generous spirit of theology students has shone throughout this year. In this regard, three things stand out. First, as a group, you have extensive involvement in voluntary work and community outreach projects. You have willingly given up your time to help those in difficult circumstances, consistently offering help where possible. It has been really inspiring to hear the details of the projects that you are involved in and the difference that you have made to the lives of those around you. Well done and thank you to all of you. Second, you have celebrated and connected together on a regular basis with your coffee mornings, the highlight of which is Margaret's tray bakes. Thank you, Margaret. Christmas lunch together and your formal events. From these events, you have a wonderful bank of memories from which to draw. Third, you have celebrated the life events of your fellow students together, including the recent marriage of Paddy Smith and Rebecca Finlay, and the birth of Isaac to Philip Brown and his wife. Congratulations all round. Having looked back over your degree programmes, it is clear to see that your journeys have been woven through with very positive and uplifting memories. In looking forward, the award of your degree is not so much the end, but the beginning 
It is the beginning of new opportunities and new openings. Some of you will continue in your education. Some of you will involve yourselves in voluntary work and others of you have jobs to begin. On that note, I would like to highlight the achievement of Judith Harbison, who finished her graduate diploma in theology in December 2019. She is now working for equipping Christian leaders in an age of science at St John's College, University of Durham, on a paid graduate internship. This is a fabulous achievement and an indication to all of you as to what might be possible in the future. One thing is for sure, that wherever you go, you will always have your connections with Queen's University Belfast. For now, and until we can celebrate in person, I send you my warmest congratulations. And if you are planning a mini celebration, I wish you a very happy time. My very best wishes to you all. I would like to express my warm congratulations to all theology students as you graduate. Whether you specialised in divinity or in theology, or you combined your theology with another subject area, you've worked very hard to earn your award and to reach this moment. Your graduation today is an important milestone and you should be proud of what you have achieved. So do make sure you take time to celebrate your success with your family and your friends. Thank you for all that you've contributed to the Union College community during your studies. We've enjoyed getting to know you and it has been our privilege to teach you. I'd like to wish you well for whatever is next. Maybe that is further study within or beyond theology, or perhaps you intend now to enter the world of work. Whichever it is, do stay in touch. Huge congratulations to you all on the achievement of reaching this point. And I want to thank you for all the contributions that you've made to our life together over the past number of years. Now, the historian Edward Gibbon famously said that history was little more than the register of the crimes, follies and misfortunes of mankind. I hope you profoundly disagree with that and that the history and the historical theology that you've studied over the past number of years will turn out to be a significant stepping stone into the future as you've opportunities to take those lessons and apply them to the problems of the future. Skills that I've been so pleased to see you develop, culture and nurture over the past number of years have been a talent for clear expression, putting forward an argument in a compelling and persuasive manner, and the ability to be able to reach a conclusion on the basis of the evidence. Skills like those will make a difference no matter what lies ahead as this degree becomes part of your own history and as the future becomes your present. Well done. For the last three years, you've been here. And you've been here. Well, most of you have been here. Now that you've graduated, it doesn't matter where you go, it doesn't matter how you get there, and it doesn't matter who you go with. We, back here, will be proud of you. Congratulations to everyone. It's wonderful that you've all got to this point in spite of the difficult time that you've had finishing off your course. I wish you well for the future and hope that uh, there'll be an opportunity for all of us to get together to celebrate uh, a special occasion. Hi folks, Eve. I want to send you all a big heartfelt co-gorgeous and congratulations from the Students' Union on finishing your studies. You should all be so proud of your achievement. For many of you, I know this isn't the celebration that many of you expected, but however you are celebrating today, whether you're having a socially distanced get-together or a Zoom quiz with friends or even a lovely meal with your family, just know that you deserve it. This is the time also to reflect on all of your experiences during your time here at Queen's. The things you learned, the clubs and societies you joined, or the friends you made over the past few years. 
I want to wish you all the best as you work towards the future that you've always imagined. And I wish you all the best as you move on, knowing that you will change and lead our society for the better. Warmest congratulations upon your graduation. It's a tremendous achievement. Well done. As somebody who's had the opportunity to work alongside previous graduates, I've really appreciated in them the ability that they have to think critically and carefully and theologically about the issues that they come across. I'm sure as you go on to serve in various areas, you'll find that your education has thoroughly equipped you to do just that. I wish you well for the future. God bless. Hello, everyone. Uh, as head of the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences at Queen's University of Belfast, it's my very great privilege uh, to be part of this extraordinary event, to share this unique celebration with you and to represent my colleagues in saying congratulations to you all. You have achieved a very significant milestone in your life and you have done so in the context of extraordinary disruption and fearful upset. You've achieved your ambition to complete your program of study and you've done so in the context of something that's changed the world, in the context of something that's changed how we live and work and learn. Until now, perhaps all we have done is respond to and cope with the change. But on reflection, I think you should recognize that you've done so much more than just cope. You have stepped up and you have responded positively and with commitment and with focus to complete your studies and achieve your goals. And that distinctive and life-changing achievement will always be with you. That achievement, that achievement in the context of something wholly distracting and utterly unprecedented is yours. And you should be proud of that just as I am proud of you, and just as your teachers and tutors here at Queen's are proud of you and your whole class. And I hope that you too are proud of your university, one of the world's great universities, a university that changes lives, that creates new knowledge, new ideas, new policies, new products, new artworks, a university that builds careers and serves our communities and places well. Now more than ever, we recognize that yours is a truly global university that values students and staff and alumni, whatever their background. A truly important university with values and impact that resonate around the world wherever you live and work. In coming to this celebration, this rather odd, distanced, very, very different celebration, you will no doubt have lots of emotions. Excitement and pride, I hope. Maybe a bit of sadness and regret as to what has happened over the last few months. But I hope also a sense of purpose and responsibility too. The motto of this university is pro tanto quid retribuamus. For so much, what shall we give back? Challenging us all to think about our individual and shared responsibility to make a difference, to use our talents well, to give back. I hope that you will rise to that challenge, uh, that in these extraordinary times and with your extraordinary talents, you will want to and be able to give back. Because if these times have taught us one thing, if these times have taught us one important thing, it is that we all have a responsibility to each other and that we all have a responsibility to work together, to live together, to make things better for everyone. With that, my warmest congratulations on your unique success. And I do hope that we can share and celebrate that achievement in a more traditional way in the future. Today is a special occasion that you celebrate the conclusion of your studies. On behalf of Queen's University, I want to congratulate each and every one of you in reaching this significant milestone. You've all worked extremely hard to reach this point, and you should be extremely proud. You're graduating in a year that has seen unprecedented change across the world. But you're also graduating in a special year for our university, 
as we celebrate our 175th anniversary. Since 1845, our world-leading researchers, pioneering students and inspirational alumni have made a real difference to society here in Northern Ireland and across the world. You now join that talented and high-achieving Academy of Queen's alumni who continue to shape the world in which we live. As a graduate, you will always be part of the Queen's community. It's a community that I'm immensely proud of, particularly in how our students and our staff have responded to the challenges of the past few months. Our researchers have been playing their part in global efforts to understand COVID-19 and find new treatments. We've also used our technologies to help meet the need for PPE in the fight against the disease, while our staff and students have adapted rapidly to new ways of working and learning. It's also a community that will play a key role as our society and economy recovers from the pandemic. And as Queen's graduates, as you embark on the next phase of your life, you will be at the very heart of that recovery. I wish you much continued success and look forward to hearing about your many achievements in the future. Congratulations again on this virtual graduation and I look forward to welcoming you back to campus sometime in the future for further celebrations to mark this really important milestone. As Chancellor of Queen's University, I would like to offer my sincere congratulations to all of our 2020 graduates. I know this is not how any of us expected to be celebrating your achievement, uh, but here we are. And I have to say, I wish I could be looking out at you and being inspired by all of you as you mark this important a milestone in your life. But the fact that we can't be together in Belfast doesn't mean I'm any less inspired by you. You will always be remembered for graduating during a pandemic, but you will also be remembered for the way you have responded to this crisis with resilience, agility, and determination. Queen students have volunteered with groups in the community, providing everything from grocery and prescription deliveries to phone conversations and friendship. Students in medicine, nursing, and midwifery graduated early so they could go to work on the front lines. Multilingual students volunteered their time as translators in the community. Others who had been volunteering with local schools continued to do so, helping children with their homework over Zoom. One student, concerned about the impact of the pandemic on developing countries, spent the semester raising funds for the Friends of Africa charity. Your generation has always embodied the principle that we can solve more problems together than we can alone, and that's never been truer than right now. In the midst of this global reckoning around some of our biggest social problems, from economic and gender equality to xenophobia and racism, you've had difficult but important conversations. You've learned from one another, and I hope you keep looking for ways to build a more just and equitable world. Now, oftentimes in graduation remarks, we give you advice and I cannot help but give you a little bit. Remember, good friends will get you through even the worst of times, so stay in touch with them. Thank people for what they do for you and yes, even send thank you notes. And remember, being polite is not the same as being politically correct, so treat others as you would want to be treated. Oh, learn, sew on a button for heaven's sakes. Check the source of everything you read or share vote in every single election, and believe in science, including in vaccinations, wash your hands, and if all else fails, try meditation or even alternate nostril breathing. Seriously, Google it. Hold on to what you learned during this challenging period. Has there been something you've been doing just because it brings you joy, painting, gardening, playing the piano? Keep doing it. Treat those that you find yourself encountering, whether it's in grocery stores or hospitals or anywhere in the community with a little extra kindness and compassion and understanding. Try to find ways to keep helping, keep opening your eyes to the problems that need solving. The world is going to need your empathy and energy and activism more than ever in the days and months ahead. These are not easy times, but we don't have the luxury of wringing our hands or being daunted by the enormity of the tasks that lie ahead. This is a time for action. So use your voice, use your vote, use your education, 
Remember the lessons you learned at Queen's University. They will serve you well. We're proud of you. We know your parents, your families, and friends watching today are too. So congratulations again, and best wishes for every success in the future. hope that you have enjoyed this celebration event. To end, I would like to share with you a photo montage that represents some of your memories during your time at Queen's. <laughs> <laughs>